Hello, my name is Marcus Santa of Qigong15.com and perhaps the most common question that I am ever asked is simply, what is Qigong? So, I recently had the opportunity to present in front of over a hundred business people, um, from entrepreneurs, businesses from many, a very wide scope and range of business, so it wasn't like it was just a narrow focus group of people. And I took the opportunity and I asked them to raise their hands if they'd ever heard of yoga. And every single hand in the room went up. I then asked them, if, raise your hand if you've heard of Tai Chi. And nearly every single hand in the room went up. And then finally I said, OK, raise your hand if you've heard of Qi Kung. And only four hands went up. So don't worry if you're like the vast majority of people who've never heard of Qi Kung. Watch this series of videos and that will all change. So. Literally, I mean, Chinese is a very complex language, perhaps even more complex than English. And a single word can have many different uh, meanings. But in this context, if we look at the word qi and the word kung, in this context, we, qi literally translated is energy and kung is work. So to get started with answering the question, what is qi kung, it's energy work. And that, that's a pretty good, gives you a good idea of where we're, where we're going with this. But in a nutshell, Qigong works on your body, it's a deliberate, way, a deliberate way of working on your body's vital energy. And you can think of vital energy or Qi as the energy that keeps you alive and keeps all the systems of your body working and functioning and keeping you healthy. And usually Qigong takes gentle external movements, coordinates them with the breathing, and they're performed in what's known a meditative state of mind. I say usually because with a, a history of over 5,000 years, there are many different schools and many different styles of Qigong. Now, the, the forte of Qigong is twofold. The, the first aim is to remove the blockages to the harmonious flow of energy through the meridians of the body and thus give yin-yang harmony or good health. And the second thought is once those blockages have been removed to the harmonious energy flow, it then increases the flow of energy. Now, don't worry at this point if you don't know what meridians are or yin-yang harmony because I'll explain those in later videos. But it's just to give you an overview. And Qigong is the oldest of the five main branches of what's known traditional Chinese medicine or TCM. The other branches are acupuncture, which I'm sure you've heard of, there's also Tui Na. Now Tui Na is a, um, a therapeutic form of massage, which means if you've had one, you know about it. It usually leaves you squirming and feeling quite uncomfortable at the time, but it feels great afterwards. Uh, the other branches are diet and herbs. Again, probably a branch that many people have heard of. So, wrapping up, if you have 10 to 15 minutes a day, then you can practice Qi Kung. You don't need any expensive equipment, and it's a lot easier to learn than Tai Chi, and it's far less strenuous than yoga. So that's it for this video. If you've got any comments or you'd like to leave your thoughts, there should be a box underneath this video, so please feel free to leave a message, as long as it's nice. And um, thank you for watching, and bye for now.